Good job, it's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we're gonna check out 10 WWE stars with the most time spent in the Royal Rumble. The Royal Rumble is coming up soon, so this would be a nice little video to get into, well, I guess to increase the hype about the Royal Rumble. Um, we will see, I will try my best to see if we can get Dub and True Billy to watch, do a live stream reaction uh, of the Royal Rumble this year. I'm, I'm doing my best. I'm not sure if it will happen. If it doesn't happen, it'll happen on, on my personal page. But uh, if I am able to ha make that happen, convince them to watch it, I think that would be pretty cool. So we're going to check this out, though. Appreciate our love and support, man. Road to 70K, and uh, let's do this, man. I could save time in a bottle. The first thing that I'd like to do is to save every day till eternity passes away just to spend them lying on the mat during a royal rumble pardon this my is, singing voice is, yes it is royal rumble this season is very once true again. This, and this as we all theorized happen. about who could win willy wonka's big gold ticket to vince's stupendous chocolate wrestle factory here we will take a look at the much more fascinating topic of who is getting paid by the hour during wwe's most exciting match of the year i mean if i could take a nap on the floor and rack up meaningless stats and royal rumbles i would too that's I mean, exactly I could be featured what on a list on parts fun known and as we all know that is a much cooler thing than some stupendous title match at some stupendous wrestlemania i like stat padding go get your 200th triple double westbrook sports ball i'm tempest hailing from parts fun known and these are the 10 wwe stars with the most time spent in the royal rumble do you have the most time spent in the parts fun known rumble well collect your title shot for know. wrestlemania by <laughs> yeah, subscribing to parts fun known though. hit the button and the bell that's important too Number 10, CM Punk, 2 hours, 48 Damn. minutes, 11 seconds. That's not bad. Now, there are a few people on this list whose stats will probably get a boost from future appearances in Royal Rumble matches, rendering this list redundant, but this fella sure won't be one of them. The now revitalized AEW star CM Punk competed in six Royal Rumble matches from 2007 to 2014, racking up 2 hours, 48 minutes, and 11 seconds, giving sermons, getting concussed, and generally milling about. Punk was actually Damn. a very solid workhorse in the Royal Rumble match, sporting an average of 28 minutes hugging ropes and laughing at Roddy Piper. Punk has the least amount of Rumble appearances of anyone on this list, which explains his position at number 10, but had he stayed in WWE, he could have made a real run for the record. He also might have died if he stayed in WWE, so these things mm -hmm. are never a guarantee. Awesome Punk's stats true. are heavily padded with an impressive Iron Man performance in the 2014 Royal Rumble, a performance made even more impressive by the fact that Kofi Kingston gave him a concussion less than a third of the way through, and Damn. the fact that he was less than 24 hours away from storming into Vince and Tripp's office and telling him just just how much he loved working for WWE. It's been a while since I listened to that podcast. I think that's what he said. Number nine, John Cena, two hours, 48 minutes, 32 seconds. Did you know that John Cena actually has the most Royal Rumble appearances in history? Wow. Yeah, I didn't believe it either, but he's actually been in 34 Royal Rumbles. You just couldn't see him. Oh, <laughs> you look? In reality, Cena has a really? modest eight <laughs> Rumble match appearances. That's you might a lot. think he would have more than that considering he's been in WWE for 20 years but no injuries movies and being champion in january really limit the amount of times you can wabadoo your way down to the ring True. and try and point at a sign as for the appearances he did make cena makes it onto this list by maintaining a steady average of 21 and a half minutes per rumble he has a pair of sub 10 minute performances including his rumble win in 2008 but he also never had a true iron man performance either that's my food y'all I gotta eat, man. I'm hungry. His longest Rumble appearance clocked in at 34 minutes, 17 seconds in the stupid 2011 Royal Rumble, and it only lasted that long because that Rumble needed to go on goddamn Weight Watchers. Others <laughs> on this list have a lot more disparity in their longest and shortest appearances, but not Cena, who stuck much closer to the median with a series of 15 to 30 minute outings. Not remarkable numbers, but enough to earn ninth place. Number eight, Cody Rhodes. Three hours, did six not, minutes, Did I know that? Seconds. Wow, interesting. This long list Three of hours? current Sheesh. and future Hall of Famers. Main event wrestlers whose Royal Rumble performances earned many of them the title shots they sought for the great big sparkly WrestleMania in the sky. And also Cody Rhodes, the career mid-carter in WWE. Mm -hmm. All right. Not saying he isn't a worthy inclusion, it's just surprising. Everyone else on this list is a former multiple-time WWE World Champion, and it makes sense that they would accrue large numbers of impressive Royal Rumble appearances. But sneaking his way onto this list is Cody Cody Rhodes at number 8 with 3 hours, 6 minutes, and 45 seconds spent trying to triumph in the tremendous tussle. I'll be honest, I can't recall any of these performances for the life of me, Same but looking here. at these numbers and after consulting Scott Steiner, I can confirm that they do add up. 
Cody only has one sub 10 minute appearance, being eliminated by DX in 2010, but otherwise he was one of WWE's go-to Royal Rumble performers for the better part of a decade. A 37 minute outing in 2009 and a 42 minute showing in 2012 are among Damn. the longest of anyone on this list, and my god, imagine having to spend 42 minutes being involved in the 2012 Royal Rumble. Jeez. That's deserving of praise all on its own. Number 7, Kane. 3 hours, 19 minutes, 40 seconds. If it wasn't clear from the last entry, these stats are not specific to one gimmick. <laughs> Cody Rhodes can rack up stats dressed as Starman Clip. all he wants, and boy, Clip does that ever ring true for everyone's favorite corporate dentist, Republican mayor, diesel impersonator, Kane. You know, every once in a while, you have to try a few times before you find your calling in life. Maybe they just didn't have job fairs in hell. Honestly, I respect it. Before his first appearance as the devil's favorite plaything, or whatever, Kane made an appearance as Dr. Isaac Yankum DDS in 1996 and Super Shredder in 1997. Kane is also by far the most bizarre entry on this list. Kane's rumble performances are the definition of a mixed bag. On one hand, you have his legendary 54 minute performance in 2001, where he eliminated a then record 11 people. But then you also realize that's almost a third of his accumulated time, and Kane also has the record for most rumble appearances with 20. What the f happened? What? It's Kane, in it? He should have like nine hours racked up by now, but no, Damn. rather, 20? Kane has an inconceivable nine rumble appearances at less than four minutes. Wow. Seven of them come in at less than two minutes. If I have to hear commentators say, how will they ever get him over the top rope again, <laughs> I will rip off my nose and hang it on my chin. If you can eliminate Kane in under two minutes, it can't be that hard, Cole. Facts. Number six, Facts. Edge. 3 hours, 31 minutes, 51 seconds. Not bad. Well, now that the baffling one is out of the way, let's turn our attention to a more heartwarming inclusion. Simply put, Edge would not have cracked the top 10 without his miraculous comeback. Mm -hmm. Hell, he wouldn't have even cracked the top 15. That's not to say that his Rumble appearances weren't great before then, but Edge was another example of injuries and January dates with the big gold belt, keeping him from participating in the old countdown rundown showdown. I mean, I understand that. Look at that belt. It is in fact big and gold. Edge actually has multiple Iron Man performances, Roberting his way to 40 minutes in 2005, downying for 44 minutes in 2007, and junioring a 58 and a half minute performance to win the Rumble in 2021. Mm. Performances that would have the Mandarin running scared. Also, did you know Edge is the only person to win multiple Royal Rumbles and lose both of his subsequent WrestleMania matches? Oh no, I'm I'm, Damn. I'm sad again. Number five, Rey Mysterio. Three hours, 45 minutes, oh, yeah. 16 seconds. Makes sense, Rey. Okay, all right. Fine. We'll I've made it this list. far without having to bring this up, but I can make it no further. We're not counting the greatest Royal Rumble, and Thank neither should goodness. you. It's dumb, and it should be forgotten. Yes. As far as I'm concerned, it is not canon in the lineage of Royal Rumbles, Facts. much like we don't count the Raw Rumble from 2011 or the SmackDown Rumble from 2004. This needed to be said because the only person affected by not acknowledging that 80-minute slog is Rey Mysterio. If you count that match, then just bump Rey up two spots, but I'm not gonna. Sorry, Rey. Mm -hmm. You were in the first match I ever saw, and I love you for it. It. it seems that over the years, WWE has forgotten how much of a legend they have on their hands in Rey Mysterio. Rey's rumble performances are a pretty revealing reflection of that, as three hours of his three hour 45 minute accumulated total came in his first five appearances. This, wow. of course, includes his all time record 62 minute 12 second performance in 2006, as well as going 38 minutes in 2005 and 49 minutes in 2009. That's really solid stuff. Mm -hmm. But since 2011, Rey has struggled to accumulate the last 40 minutes of his total in six combined matches. I mean, it's bloody Rey Mysterio. Treat him like he's a big deal, you bellends. Number four, Shawn Michaels. Three hours, 47 that minutes, makes sense. 32 he's on seconds. As well. You know what I don't understand? Why would you lie about stats from the Royal Rumble? You'd never hear Joe Buck say Tom Brady has won 10 Super Bowls just because it sounds impressive. Sports ball. I mean, you can look that shit up very easily. Mm -hmm. So why does WWE love saying that Shawn Michaels lasted an hour in the Royal Rumble in 1995? I know it's WWE, and they're about as trustworthy as Fletcher Reed, but the Royal Rumble is like the one WWE match based on statistics. They air a million by the numbers videos each year. Whatever, Shawn Michaels does find himself high on this list even if his Rumble winning performance in 1995 lasted 38 minutes and not an hour. HBK Damn. has a very respectable track record they in the aristocratic definitely inflated that time. <laughs> Although his 38 minute 95 performance is the longest outing of Shawn's career, he did have several 24 minute plus showings as well, and one where he was eliminated in 12 seconds in 1990, but I mean, look at him. That's not a heartbreak kid. That's a heartbroken child. Look at this frilly lavender. Oh my god. Why isn't he wearing this stuff today? 
Number three, Triple H, four hours. Four hours, seconds. damn! Triple H has three Royal Rumble performances over 45 minutes? Okay. Trips doesn't stand out as a legendary sovereign scuffle performer to me, but at over four hours of accumulated Rumble time? Jeez. Yeah, all right, fair enough. His Rumble debut saw him go 48 minutes in 1996, one of the only impressive things about that match. His runner-up performance in 2009 clocked in at a whopping 50 minutes, and his 2006 outing where he and Rey Mysterio started the match's entrance number two saw them both fight for over an hour. Tripp's 2006 60-minute, 16-second showing gets lost in the shuffle because of Rey Mysterio's much more impressive 62-minute, 12-second performance. Yeah. I mean, anyone can wrestle for 60 minutes, big <laughs> deal, but 62. Two minutes? <laughs> Hot diggity damn, now that is impressive. But Triple H still stands with the fourth longest single Rumble performance. Not too shabby. With over four hours spent in Royal Rumbles, the only game the game has been playing is the waiting game. But the waiting game sucks, so let's play Hungry Hungry Hippos. Number two, Randy Orton. Four hours, mm. 20 minutes, 49 seconds. Remember that time Randy Orton won the 2017 Royal Rumble? Yeah, that was dumb. Samoa Joe, Finn Balor, Sami Zayn, yep. Chris Jericho. None of these seemed like better options. All right, whatever. Not this isn't close. the point of the video. WWE. I like Randy Orton. Randy is a really weird one for this list because on one hand, I am so sad he couldn't have been in this match for 20 more seconds. I know it would never be written as 69 seconds, but let me have this one. But on the other hand, I'm looking at the numbers for his Rumble appearances and man, Man, this was an unremarkable four and a half hours. He has two major Iron Man performances when he won in 2009 and again in 2021 when he entered at number two and was the runner up. But otherwise, man, this massive accumulated time really is the result of being in so many of these matches. Oh. Orton has competed in 12 Rumbles, tied for second Damn. most of those on this list. We've got 13 minutes in 2006, eight minutes in 2011, five minutes in 2012, 10 minutes in 2013, 14 minutes in 2018, six minutes in 2019, and 14 minutes in 2020. Like I said, it's very unremarkable, but when half of his four hours comes in in two massive outings, the rest really does just sort of add up. I've done far too much math for this. <laughs> that this. And number one, Chris wow. Jericho, four hours, 56 Chris Jericho, minutes, damn, almost seconds. five hours. I knew this one was coming. Chris Jericho, this cheeky little sausage might have the record for the most time spent on WWE pay-per-view performing while actually doing nothing for his appearance at the 2017 Royal Rumble. Not only did he rack up the fifth longest time spent in a single Rumble with one hour, 13 seconds, but if you recall, he also spent about 25 minutes hanging in a shark cage during Kevin Owens' universal title match with Roman Reigns that night. If Jericho was working by the hour, he was f milking it that night. <laughs> How Jericho never won the Royal Rumble is such a mystery to me, especially is, when you that consider that he was the obvious choice in 2012 and 2017. While it appears unlikely that Chris Jericho will ever compete in a Royal Rumble again, insert footage of a shocking 2022 Rumble appearance here, Jericho's record near five hours spent in the Royal Rumble may never be approached if Randy Orton doesn't start to pick up the pace. Jericho earned these minutes too. His average Royal Rumble appearance is almost a half hour, Damn. 39 minutes in 2003. 28 in 2005, 37 in 2009, wow. 48 in 2013, and 50 in 2016 make Jericho the obvious candidate for the biggest workhorse in Royal Rumble history. Mm -hmm. When Jericho takes the short jog down the ramp for the annual no one will be able to eliminate the big show match, he <laughs> always has his working boots on. Now, run along before all these stats change in two weeks. And that's our... Hey man, that that's pretty cool. I did not know. Jericho has the longest time in the actual royal rumble man that's actually pretty cool and it's also kind of interesting and weird they never gave him a, a royal rumble, a royal rumble win considering how long he's been in almost each one he's ever been a part of so you would think at some point they would have gave him one but they never did the thing about wwe and their their view on jericho <clears throat> they've never really looked they looked at him as a top guy but not the top guy he was he was good enough, but he wasn't what they were like, what they really wanted. If if that makes any sense, like, and he deserves to be up there as one of the top guys for sure. Definitely a, a workhorse when he was in WWE. So that that was that was pretty interesting. This whole video was actually pretty interesting in my opinion. I think this was pretty dope just to get the actual minutes that these guys were in these uh royal rumbles is actually pretty cool pretty informative so comment down below let me know if you guys enjoyed this video um i appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel you guys have been running it up on the views 
to subscriptions to likes thank you guys so much for that i really do truly appreciate it appreciate y'all kicking it with me and i'll see y'all on the next one peace